Mabuhay at malikhang Pilipinas sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Samantha Gabronino at kasama natin ngayon si Mayor Joy Belmonte ng Quezon City. Hello, Mayor. Hello, Samantha. Hello sa lahat. So, we will be talking to, we are talking to different people to get their insights about um, creativity. So, we are in this event by Department of Trade and Industry. And for you, Mayor, as um, local chief executive, what for you is a creative city? Well, first and foremost, as a mayor, we have two functions really. We have we have to help feed the body and provide uh, uh, for the physical nourishment of our people, mm -hmm. but also we have to feed the soul. And yeah. that's why it's very important for cities, especially for mayors, to invest heavily as well mm -hmm. in culture and the arts, yes. um, because that those are the things that the soul needs in order to thrive. So a creative city is one that gives value to culture, mm -hmm. to the arts, and the different types of arts are film, of course, music, the performing arts, uh, drama, yeah. you know, all of that is included, and um, as well as museums, having a lot mm -hmm. of museums, uh, preserving heritage sites, for example, and, um, and investing as well in future talent. Right, so that's right. what makes a creative city, no, among we, many others. We want to understand specifically for your city, Quezon mm. City po, ano yung mga major, um, mga highlight natin na ginagawa po ng Quezon City to, to really embody itself as a creative city? Well, Samantha, ang dami-dami namin ginagawa because we ha are actually a very big city. Yes. You know? And uh, siguro one thing I would like to highlight is we are the only local government unit that has its own Quezon City International Film wow. Festival. And we're on our 12th year. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm proud of it because it started as a small project. And now we are the leading film festival in the mm -hmm. ASEAN region. Mm -hmm. We have competition films from all over Southeast Asia. And we give grants as wow, well yes. to uh, up and coming independent filmmakers so that they can create the movie of their choice or of their dreams without the need uh, for commercialization. Wow. And these are films that have entered uh, renowned uh, film festivals such as Cannes, Berlin, Toronto, Sundance, you know, and, um, and Quezon City is now on the map as one of the uh, yeah. leading uh, film centers all over at least the, the Asian region. Yeah. So that's one. And the second I'm proud of is we have an executive order that declares November 22 as the day of poetry in Quezon City because we want to revive the art of the spoken word. Wow. So whenever we have a, an event, there's poetry reading and uh, a lot of uh, 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 young people are now doing poetry in Quezon City. And of course, you know, we have the usual. We have mm -hmm. thousands of restaurants um, that uh, cater to diverse tastes, diverse budgets, mm -hmm. um, all kinds of cuisines all over the city. We have all kinds of music. We have uh, jazz music, 80s, 90s, 2000s, rap, etc. all over. We have uh, drag clubs, uh -huh. you know, comedy bars. Uh, we have the Araneta Coliseum and the New Frontier, mm -hmm. the Kia Theater. Um, and uh, uh, we have museums, no? we yes, have the yes. Quezon Heritage House, the Philippine Car Museum, uh, the Quezon House, meaning the Quezon wow. House, which is different from his Heritage House, <laughs> but the Quezon Museum, or yes. Quezon Museum. Um, and uh, we also have a lot of uh, heritage sites because Quezon City is a place where the Katipuneros spent yes, a lot yes. of time and all of those sites are being preserved by the Quezon City government. Right. Uh, as you say it, no, Mayor, talagang colorful ang Quezon City when it comes to celebrating creativity. Do you also provide training for the people? Uh, yeah, what do you mean by training? Training uh, in terms of sa mga gustong pumasok sa creative pursuits. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so we have two senior high schools that yes. are dedicated to the performing arts. no? And currently, if you would like to ask about our plans, uh, at, the, at, the, at this very moment, we have a media festival. This is in cooperation with the University of the Philippines and all the top media practitioners in the Philippines as well as abroad are here now uh, having discussions, workshops, and this is sponsored by the local government of Quezon City. Uh, we are currently building a theater, a MICE Center, all of that will be ready. Uh, the MICE Center by September of this year and the theater by April of wow. next year. And uh, several museums are currently um, under works. One is the Museo ng Pelikulang Pilipino. Of course, this is in cooperation with the Mobile Fund. And the second is uh, the Museum of Women's History. Because of course, sa lahat ng mga katiponerong babae, we have Tandang Swara. 
coming from Quezon City and we wanted to honor her by coming up with a museum as well. Doon sa Tandang Sora Show. Also history, no? Thank yeah. you so much. Eh, we, we, we love that about Quezon City. Hindi lang busog yung sikmura ng mga mamamayan. Busog din po ang soul as you said it. Yeah. Thank you so much. At this Thank point, you, would you like to promote anything for Quezon City po? Okay. So, ako naman, Events. well, binabati ko lahat ng mga uh, manunood natin, lalong-lalo na yung mga taga Quezon City, and siguro uh, tangkiliki natin ang ating libo-libo uh, mga restaurant sa lungsod Quezon, ang iba't ibang mga concerts and live performances ng ating mga talented performers. Pero, abangan ninyo sa November, 13th year na po ng Quezon City International Film Festival. Yan, magkita-kita po tayo dyan. Muli, ako po si Samantha Gabronino. Kasama natin si Mayor Joy Belmonte ng Quezon City. Maraming maraming salamat po for sharing your insights about creativity. Thank, Thank you so you much, Samantha. Mayor. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Take care. See you again soon.